This video is about bottom dysphoria, right? Bottom dysphoria is not easy to talk about. That's why I haven't made a video about it yet. In a perfect world, I would love to wake up and to be able to have sex the way I want to have sex and have, provide my girlfriend with children that are, that are ours and be able to not feel, feel like I have a void, like I'm not man enough. I 100% believe that it doesn't matter what's in your pants, not besides your gender. I 100% believe that I am just as much of a man as a cis guy is. However, it doesn't mean that I'm perfect. It doesn't mean that I don't struggle with, you know, not being able to give my girlfriend children or be able to be in the shower without looking down. And a lot of this stuff does impact my day-to-day -day life. I get a lot of messages from people saying, you know, I hope that I can be as confident as you one day. I hope that I can be as sure of myself as you one day. And, um, and I, I encourage you to follow positive light wherever that may be in your life, whether that's people on social, whether that's people that are in your day-to-day -day life. Just surround yourself with as much positivity is what I recommend to these people. But at the same time, I got to make sure you guys understand that I am human and I have bad days and I have days where I'm not confident and I have days where I try on my clothes and they don't fit right. Um, dysphoria is definitely something that I struggle with and when it comes to, you know, ways to alleviate dysphoria, especially bottom dysphoria, they've got different packers, they've got um, different resources for you. Personally, I have considered the pros and cons of bottom surgery. With the current progressions of medicine, bottom surgery is not something I'm considering because of the fact that the results that I've seen are not up to par with what I personally would want on my body. Um, obviously, if you chose that and it worked great for you, like that's so awesome. I'm super happy for you that that was able to alleviate your dysphoria and that was able to help you in any way, shape, or form. But me personally, that's not for me. Um, I get a lot of questions about packing, if I pack, uh, what I use to pack. Um, I do have days where I pack uh, to give an extra boost, boost of confidence. Packing is a way that a lot of people alleviate their dysphoria and I encourage you to try it, give it a shot, see if it helps you out. I know it helped me out, especially in the first um, year or so. I do not pack every day. I don't like people being able to tell that I'm packing. Having a packer in my pants is not what defines me as a man. I define myself as a man and that's enough. I want to be happy with my body and I want to be uh, appreciative and thankful for my body um, as much as I can be. And although I'm trying to attack that weakness in me of having dysphoria, um, I haven't mastered it yet and it's it's difficult but I want to show you guys that it's not I don't have it all figured out I don't have the it's a secret to alleviate your bottom dysphoria I would suggest packing and I would suggest positive self-talk um, one of the exercises Buck Angel talks about is um, before and after getting out of the shower just kind of get naked and look at yourself in the mirror I would just encourage you to look at yourself and find things that you like about yourself and focus on those
YouTube channel to uh, show other people what it's like to be transgender in today's society and to help you out uh, and to give you some resources um, and be able to share my experience with you and like make you feel just a little less alone and add some positivity to your life. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Remember you guys are awesome. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Oh God, I got bit by mosquitoes outside. Why did I do that? This is what I go through to try to film these videos for you people. I'm trying to find you different settings.